Jess? Yeah? How many subs do you think we've got? 100? 100. 107. <gasps> okay, hi, and welcome back to Jennifer's Uh Just first up, there's actually no tranchulas in this video. i am just decided to do a quick Q&A because the plan was to do a feeding video, but I think I'm having an influx of pre-malt because they're not eating. So I'll keep persevering. But before I start, I'm at 107 subscribers. Happy dance. No idea how that happened. I honestly seriously thought when I started this channel, there was gonna be no subscribers. I was just doing it for me and my son to have a laugh. But no, you actually like this stuff. So thank you so much that all of you that have subscribed, I am gonna do a 100 subscriber thing. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is either, like I said before, I am an artist, so I can um, either do a painting of your one of your tarantulas or bugs, or I can send you a mystery box. Um, this won't be until the new year because we're about to have an influx of snow, and I don't want to get this bite killed on the way there. So I don't know if I can actually sh if I can ship to the UK, um, the US. I'm not sure how that actually works, but I'll figure it out. But so in the end, in this com in the well, uh, in the comments, put either mystery box or painting or something, and then what I'll do is I'll put all the numbers into a random number thing if I can figure out how to do that and pick someone. Very freshly done, I know. Okay, okay. Question one. Heads up, my daughter's off school with chicken pox at the moment, so I'm prepared to be interrupted. Question one. If you were to be a dinosaur, what would you be and why? Not sure who this, this is from. I've lost the name, but if it's you, let me know and I'll mention you into the comments. I would be a triceratops because they look all mean and badass. But I, think they're quite, but I think they're actually quite sweet and they're not huge meat eaters like me, so that's me. Two, this is from Stick and Mix. Would you ever consider breeding teas? And if so, which one would you choose first and why? I probably would choose uh, Bracky Palma Publi and Alba Blossom, something like that, because um, I'd probably be scared to death of opening up an egg sack and thousands of OBTs running there all, <laughs> all around the place. But I don't know. But in all seriousness, it is something I do actually want, I want to get into doing at some point as my collection progresses but at the moment most, most of my teas they are juvies or slings I do have a couple that are a little bit bigger but but not much so I think I'm probably a long way off from that unless I was to buy a female um, also from Stick and Mix if you were to choose a tarantula to describe him what would it be Hmm. Well, I have met him at the Southern Invert Show, and he's a really, really sweet guy, really lovely guy. Him and him and his girlfriend, they were really, really sweet. So I would say my last, what is he called? Oh, there is my Fonda Palma Calcodes. That's who I would describe it first. Stick and mix because she's uh, she's a really, really sweet tarantula, and she's the only one that's actually ever let me hold her. These, okay, the next set. These are from JPS Pet Nation. What's your favourite animal? A bat, a raccoon, and a bear. They're my three favourite ones, always have been. Next one. If you could only keep one tea, what would it be and why? Oh, I could only choose one. I would probably choose my Cantascura Geniculata, Hannibal, because she's the first one I really had any sort of interaction with, and I love her. I love her, but I'm really, really happy to her, who has been in pre mold forever but I would say Hannibal also from JPS Pet Nations apart from YouTube what other hobbies do you have <laughs> okay I'm a huge horror freak seriously on the 1st of October my Halloween decorations go up and every night I watch a Halloween film throughout October everyone thinks I'm absolutely nuts about this but this is what I do to the point by the end of October I'm completely desensitized to anything, anything scary so that's that. I also, also, obviously, going on from that, I love anything paranormal and ghostified and stuff like that. And of course, art and coffee. <laughs> love coffee. <laughs> and, but to be fair, it's just 
the tarantulas are taking over pretty much at the moment, so for me to get anything else done. Okay, and the last one from JPS Pet Nation. How old were you when you got into YouTube and what made you become a YouTuber? Well, I've only been doing this for literally just over a month, I think now. Uh, this year in September and I am 43. I know, don't judge. Uh, I became a YouTuber because my son wanted a tarantula and I very fast became obsessed and I knew that my collection was going to go through the roof. So it seemed like the obvious choice and in all honesty, I love doing it. I love the feedback and the responses. So, yeah. Okay, this question, this question was asked for me by two people, Invert Phil and Mark Sims. What's your favourite tarantula and why? Okay, like I mentioned earlier, it's my cat's girl Geniculata. Because when the first time I gave the teas, we ended up with three. Two were pet holes forever. The one actually has now come out, I've seen it, it's eaten, but the little thing has gone back in and re-shut the door again. So, so, and the other one was also still here, did not come out yet. So it, only, it was really only Hannibal that I had, and it was my first real interaction with a tarantula so she's a little flicker <laughs> and she's a nightmare but i love her so much i really really hope she's a she so yeah she's got a special place in my heart that one and my last question is from lassie dora paranormal what is your dream dream tarantula it has got to be grandma solipulcra i want one so bad but they are so expensive they are so expensive so I might end up just getting it from a sling at one of the shows and then watching it grow. Um, I also do, I've seen another one, I don't know what it's called, but it's like, I think it might even be a true spider. It looks like a little ladybird, but it has just got the most adorable face. I want that as well. In fact, I'm not gonna lie, I want them all. So that's that. Um, I will link, put a link into the description of all the YouTubers that have commented. Go and I know who they are. They are awesome channels, so please, please go out and give them, check them out and give them a subscribe. And that thing we put up, come up to the end. So, like I said before, I've reached 107 subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway. Choose either painting or a, what did I say? Mystery box. So in the comments, either put painting or mystery box or just a, I'm in. So then I know who to put, and then I'll get this random name checker sorted out. Probably this time next week. I'll try. I'll try and do it, and then hopefully I'll have some more. I'll be able to put some tarantulas in because hopefully I'll start eating by now. So hopefully this wasn't too boring for you. And if you stuck by this far, thank you very much. Thank you again so much again for all of you that have subscribed. It really does mean the world to me. Comment something. I love hearing from you, and I'll always get back to you. So don't forget. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload because I seem to be doing that quite a lot lately now. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.